the number 10 human highlight, J.J. Watt. Ooh, yeah. This is a bad man. It surprised me to see J.J. Watt on this list. It really did. I was surprised and delighted that Watt made the list. Atta, baby! Hey! That's what happened! I love you, baby! Hell yeah! J.J. Watt, I love that you guys have him on this list. It's so rare to have a defensive lineman on a list like this. It's usually offensive skill guys. Watt knocks the ball out. J.J. Buddycorn picks it up. J.J. Watt is able to just snag the ball out of the air. I don't know that we're going to see a better catch than that one. J.J. Watt's got to be on this list. I mean, 2014 alone, I think, does it for him. 20 and a half sacks, 50 quarterback hurries. <laughs> Watt doesn't slow down when no, no, no. He only knows one screen. I mean, he was catching touchdowns. J.J. Watt, he makes the catch. Touchdown! Buffalo driving into Texans territory. Watt picks off E.J. Manuel and runs it basically coast to coast for a touchdown. Watt's going to go all the way. The 30, the 20, rock and roll. J.J. Watt, pick six. Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. Luck drops the snap, and there's a chase for the ball. And guess who's got it? J.J. to his left, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! You gotta be kidding me! I think go ahead and give the MVP trophy out right now. There is no way in the history of anything that a guy named J.J. Watt wasn't gonna be awesome. He always looks like he's in an ad of some kind, and it's a great ad. He looks like a television character. His highlight reels might be better with just his working out videos. I mean, the hard knock stuff with him throwing tires. <sighs> Woo! Catching footballs with one hand. He's an amazing player to watch. Now, my favorite part about J.J. Watt is his ability to block passes. Right side, put it down! What? His knack for blocking passes, I've never seen a defensive player like that. J.J. Watt should not be on this list. Hey, I think that is a challenge! The fact that he does amazing things. He's really fast, he's a phenomenal athlete. But we've really only seen five years out of him. My body is taking a beating today. I think a lot of people aren't able to really appreciate the highlights that J.J. Watt has produced if you don't really understand line play. Play after play, if you just watch Watt, to me, they're, they're almost all highlights that you can see a guy just totally better than the guys in front of him. I, I've never seen a defensive player like that. You stink. You guys might want to try somebody else at right tackle. It's not working so well right now. I like Drew. I don't like hitting him like that. It takes a, a freak to stand out on defense. He is the focal point of any Texans game, no matter what's happening. What more can he do? He's must-see TV, which, which for a D lineman, I mean, that's you, you, know, you never see that. To put up the kind of reel he has had from that particular position is unthinkable. It's never really happened in this league before, and that's why he's here. The number nine human highlight, Michael Vick. Nine? Wow. How is Michael Vick number nine in highlight films? <laughs> Michael Vick is the definition of human highlight reel. Michael Vick should be hired just because even Nike had a whole campaign built around that you're gonna play in the Michael Vick body as a video game. Well, that's not in the playbook, but it should be. Every single person who ever played Madden that year made sure they played with the Falcons. By the way, the stuff you could do with him in Madden, he could do in real life. He a lot faster in real life. Uh -huh. He was the most crazy weapon at quarterback the NFL has ever seen. Stop on a dime, cut back. He was, he was a super football player. I'm sure when he was a kid who played tag, he was never it. You kind of made that guy look foolish, huh? 
he was blowing by cornerbacks whose 40 times were record-breaking at the combine. And Vic made them look like they were standing still. Look at the speed. I remember not wanting to see him throw the ball. I was like, I don't care. I don't care if you throw it. Just run. When Vic did throw, his arm strength was just as impressive. What an arm. Oh, my god. Could throw a football easy, easy 70 yards. Going long for Jefferson. Oh, oh yeah. Backing the grab. Touchdown. That's what you call an arm. I think Michael Vick has three or four plays that I would put up against any player in NFL history as far as sheer highlights, like, unbelievable. Falcons versus Vikings, and when he ran it in overtime to win the game. Being chased, coming near side, keeping the football. Two Vikings defenders collide. Go, Mike Vick! This is over! It's over! Yes! You know Mike Vick was the man. There was like a, an 80-yard pass finish with the Eagles to Deshaun Jackson that was just insane. It was 80 yards in the air. What a play. What a throw by Vick. Michael Vick had some of the most amazing plays in NFL history. I'd say if there's a top 10 greatest plays of all time, Vick might be three of them. If that's the case, he might be number one on my highlight reel guy. One of the most exciting football players I've ever seen in my life. He would have played a whole career. He, sh he would be way higher, but I think number nine is fair for how long he was in the NFL. Devin Hester. Devin Hester was my favorite. Devin Hester, he was so dangerous. Devin Hester made special teams awesome. The Windy City Flyer, Devin Hester! Devin Hester returned all the things, except for library books. No player on our list gave us a better return on our viewing investment than Devin Hester. You know what I appreciate about Devin Hester? He did one thing great. He knew his lane and rode it out for all of his career. And now Devin Hester gonna run it out at the five, to the 10, to the 15, right 20, 25, 30. Blockers downfield, gets one from Tillman up the side, right 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, oh, touchdown, no they did it again. Anytime Devin Hester was returning the ball, you made sure not to go to the fridge or change the channel. You are watching Devin Hester return. Devin Hester, you are ridiculous. Every time he caught the ball, there was there was at least a 50% chance you felt that he was getting in the end zone. It's the gas at the 50, to the 40, the Broncos! He hurdles Sabra, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown Bears! It didn't matter that you'd seen him do it before. Every time he would catch a punt, you would start with like, no, no. Starts left, steps the tackler, don't go backwards, Devin please. Going backwards to the 25. And then you'd be like, yes, go. My favorite part of every Devin Hester punt return is that moment where the punter realizes that he has to look like an idiot momentarily and try to tackle a guy running directly at him at 30 miles an hour. He is absolutely, unquestionably ridiculous. Hester is on the list because he changed the way we view the start of a Super Bowl. He does what no one's ever done before or since. Starts off a Super Bowl by running it all the way back. Tails to the far side around the eight yard line to Hester. Under it and to the middle with the 15, the 20, breaks free, the 25 to the 30, to the outside, 40, midfield, 40, 30 to the post, 20, 15, Hester five. Oh! Touchdown Bears! No way! This is the definition of a highlight. That first minute, there had to be a voice in Tony Dungy's head, like, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Don't kick it to Devin Hester. Even watching himself on the Jumbotron as he trots in. Devin Hester's a human highlight reel until he had to do a route. <laughs> Awesome. Punt return, kick returner. Wide receiver, big disappointment. That shows what a badass returner he was, that he was that good that all he had to do was return and make the list. He is a lock for this list. Maybe not number one, but you can't, you would be no point in doing this without him. Hey, I'm talking to you seriously. You are something special, dog. 14 books still waiting for Devin Hester to return. So, Devin, 
I'm sorry, but Harry Potter <laughs> needs to be returned. The number seven human highlight, Terrell Owens. He made huge plays. Owens is behind the defense. He's gonna go. Well, if we're talking about top 10 train wrecks in NFL history. I love me some me. Woo! Woo! I think Terrell Owens is on the list. If you're talking about highlight reels, I think you put someone else there. They can say what they want to say about me. I can't be stopped. Terrell Owens is a human highlight reel at all hours. As human highlights go, there is only one T.O. T.O. got to be on y'all list as, as the most personal on your list. He going to be top receiver. Terrell Owens with his size and strength, there was no way you were going to stop him. He's going for Owens at the end zone. He's got it. Top trash talk. I'm in a league of my own. They ain't ready for me. Most electric. Makes a break, makes another, cuts to his left. Top everything. He's got a 15 catch five. Touchdown, 49 yards. P-O-T-D. Pass going out to the right, caught by Terrell Owens. Owens breaks the tackle, and he is going to outrace the secondary. Not only did you have to watch him when he was running to the end zone, you then had to watch him in the end zone because that sometimes was more exciting. Our number seven human highlight didn't have an off switch. Popcorn. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> Sharpie celebration. What is, is that a pin? Yeah. <laughs> he had what? a pin in his sock and he pulled it out and autographed the ball. Grabbed the cheerleaders' pom-poms one time. He did not just take the pom-poms and start cheering. He really knew how to entertain on a football field. You have to see this guy to believe it. It was always about Owens. He had to be the highlight reel. I just thought he was such a pain in the ass. Such a drama queen. I don't want to hear nothing. Just give me the ball. And then in the locker room, after he'd lose a big game, he'd start bawling about his quarterback. It's my team. It's my quarterback. He went on his front yard and held a press conference while doing sit-up. Hey, I ain't hurting the team. You can talk all the trash all you want, and, but as long as you have the abilities to match, you're great. Terrell Owens hit it, he caught the ball, and he makes the winning touchdown catch. I would watch Terrell Owens do literally anything, anything. Be ready on call. I want to see him order food at a restaurant. I want to see him work out at the gym. I would watch Terrell Owens do literally anything. That's why he's on this list. The number six human highlight, Rob Gronkowski. There has been and may only ever be one Gronk. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> there aren't that many NFL players who are known by just one name like Madonna. Freak show. My god, I've seen it all now by this guy. I love him. I love his brothers. I love his big dumb square head. He's the most exciting ever, yeah, but it's a tight end. No human being has ever better been made for football than Gronk. Rob Gronkowski is hard to miss on a football field, and he's even harder to cover. He was just like this big lumbering animal that the defense had no chance to stop. Can't stop him! Cannot stop him! This is your modern day freak, it's unstoppable. He looks like a bulldozer doing ballet. Gronkowski reaches down and makes a tumbling catch. He's so light on his feet and so heavy on his feet at the same time. Spins away from the defender, stiff arms another, carries it down to 15, to the 10. Gronk leaps to the end zone. Tell me a team right now that can stop him when 87's healthy. Clears one tackle and then kicks it into that third gear. They both try and undercut him at the goal line, and the big boy takes it in. I juke like five people. <laughs> He looks like the high school senior that's playing with the sixth graders. He just finishes this block well after the touchdown signal was called. 
drives him right off the field and into the television truck. No matter what, it's a tight end. He's still blocking 60% of the time. It's a boring position. You can call Gronk a tight end, but you can't call him boring. I told AD he's going to see something I've never done before in my life, this game, that I don't even know I can. How many other 260-pound players do you see making fingertip catches with defensive players bouncing off them like they're crash test dummies? Give me a break. I suspect a lot of Gronk's best highlights uh, can't be shown on television. Uh, one more, I got 69 touchdowns, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he can say anything, and you're like, oh, Gronk. <laughs> we got yelled at. We're not allowed to talk about celebrations. I kind of want to talk about it. But I kind of don't, because I'll get in trouble. So I don't know what to do. You know, oh, my god, it's so cute. Look what he's doing. <laughs> Only you know what I mean, baby. The man is on-field and off-field football gold. Ah, ah, hit him, hit him. <laughs> the name is made for the highlight reel. The player is made for the highlight reel. I think it just all comes together and makes sense. And now, the number five human highlight, LT. Lawrence Taylor deserves to be on the list. He was single-handedly changing game. He changed the expectations of what it was to be a player in his position. I mean, of course, he's on this list. Absolute monster. I don't want to say anything funny about LT at all. He's too intense. He's too relentless. Those are, like, the only things that I can think of when watching LT play. Lawrence Taylor highlights make you thank the Lord in heaven that you don't play football. Can you imagine him coming at you? I would be like, okay, it's over. This was a nice life. Time to die. Watch his highlights and you like flinch when you watch it just because of the sheer intensity at which he plays football. I know as a child, when he's on the sideline talking about going out like a bunch of crazed dogs. Hey baby, let's go out there like a bunch of crazed dogs. That's some fun. I was mortified of Lawrence Taylor as a child. He's so good. It's crazy. Tonight, Lawrence Taylor's got that throttle open at about 200%. His hits are more mesmerizing, more enchanting. You can sit there and watch it over and over again. But one of my favorite LT types of tackles is when he gets a one-handed shirt tackle, just grabs a guy by his jersey and spins him around and like pretty much throws him like a bag of garbage into the end zone. I sit back, I marvel at the closing speed, the ferocity, uh, the no chance that a tackle is gonna block him, much less a tight end. One man cannot block Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor was a one-man machine. He was his own army, actually, is, is probably a better way to phrase it. This guy did whatever he wanted, and he got up and he laughed at you. He literally famously said to a quarterback after he tackled him, he's like, you're gonna have to do better than that, bro. Son, I gotta do better than this. After he did what he told you he was gonna do, he then looked you in the eyes and said, not only did I just do what I said I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do it again on the next snap. Hey, Sula, you better hope I never get back in there, I will kick your ass. 1982, Thanksgiving, against Detroit. He has three forced fumbles and a pick six in the second half. Rolls wildly, intercepted! There goes down LT! LT, way to go! LT truly did beat the Detroit Lions by himself. When you saw him, you were like, he's a different tier of human than the other people playing. Well, number four, human highlight, Randy Moss. What's up, football world? 84 here. Randy Moss's highlights are incredible to watch. Fires to Moss. Moss is up. Caught touchdown. What a catch. Yes. What a great catch by Randy Moss. Highlight reel after highlight reel. Just fast, quick. Randy Moss breaks the tackle. And Randy Moss races down the sideline. And Randy Moss just outruns everybody into the end zone. He is incredible. Screen. Bomb. Wants it deep. Got Moss down there. There's the ball. 
Did he do kick returns? I don't know if he did kick returns. Now in the middle of the 50s. He's going to go. At the 40. He's 35, 30, 25, 20. To me, a human highlight reel is when you become known for a thing. Like to me, when I think of Randy Moss, I think of one-handed catches. One-handed catch by Randy Moss. That was one of the greatest catches Randy Moss has ever made. See that finger right there? <gasps> yeah. Oh, just caught a ball with my finger. Caught, touchdown, Randy Moss. He became a bird, you got mossed. If we were playing one-on-one -on -one right now, and I caught the ball one-handed, I mossed you. You were mossed. That's how you know you're a human highlight reel. If you're watching a game and you saw Randy put the hand up, <laughs> you know, I'm open, you knew he was open. You knew he was getting the ball, and that was it. It was over. He's got it, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. That team all went through Randy Moss. Deep in the end zone, punt, super free, touchdown! He made Randall Cunningham look like he had a second career. And it is Moss getting position, touchdown! Uh, Randy Moss made Dante Culpepper look like he was good. Dante takes the snap, straight drop, great projection. He'll go deep, right side for Randy Moss, and Moss got it! Touchdown! When Tom Brady had a Randy Moss caliber player, he broke every record. Touchdown pass number 50, an NFL record. That season with the Patriots, when Randy Moss breaks the record. For Randy Moss, touchdown reception number 23, an NFL record. Unstoppable with Tom Brady. Hey, just look down one side and find 81. Okay. I'm going deep. But give me Randy Moss in his prom. Give me Moss. Let me throw it up high and let me get Moss. I say it all the time. What a magical receiver that guy is. The number three human highlight, prime time, Deion Sanders. Number three. Come on, man. Come on, baby, with your sweet Go, baby. Way too low. He's maybe the most electric player in the history of football. He starts the high step at the 25. Deion Sanders dancing for a long, long touchdown. Deion has to be number one because he is the human highlight reel. When your nickname is Neon, you must act like a noble gas. When your entire outer valence is filled with electrons, you can't bond with anything. You're not ionic or covalent, no. You're just scoring and playing defense as well and wearing a bandana. He had a confidence and a swag and aura about him that says, when I step on this field, this is my domain. Deion Sanders was born to be a highlight reel from the first time he stepped on the field. How your first time touching the ball in the NFL, you drop the kick return and then you take it to the house. That tells you all you need to know about electricity. How many times do you see this happen? First of all, he fumbles the ball, and now we see the great speed. We're talking about a young man that runs a 4-2-5-40. That is burning. He's outside, he sees 24 come up. Great move, Deion Sanders. I found the end zone six different ways. He returned to kick. Deion to the five, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, 35, the 40, 45, 50. Deion, 100 yards. Return to punt. Return to interception. He did it again. A fumble. An end around or reverse. Here's a reverse to Deion Sanders. Now reverses direction, finds a blocker. Touchdown. At the 20, Touchdown. to the right, to the Touchdown. 10, to the 5. Touchdown, oh, Deion Sanders. Play. And he caught a touchdown pass. That time they put him on the left and just threw him that timing pattern, just that quick up. The only thing he didn't do was throw a touchdown pass. And he probably could have. I mean, he was a pro baseball player. He made playing defensive back fun. He made it exciting. When you talk about San Francisco against the Falcons, after the big fight on field with Ryzen. Oh, he takes his shot. Deion's giving that whole field one pump. Did you see that? That's a classic. And 
then what happens? The pick six, and then when we get to the sideline and we're running up the field, what are we doing? We're looking at the whole team. The Falcons saying, look at me, baby. I'm prime time. He can high step this one half the field and walk to the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. And then we get in the end zone, and we got to do what? We got to do the dance. That's my man. You're showing off for me, the person at home. The person who you're entertaining, I love that. And the Dion Shuffle follows. Deion Sanders is a highlight reel as a person. What time is it? Showtime, prime time. He has swag when we didn't even know what it was. Prime time's coming to Atlanta, huh? I want everybody at the airport. He kind of transcended football. Um, in a way that he brought a lot of other people from a lot of other arenas in to watch football. How long have you been a Falcons fan? I've been a Deion, fan, a Deion Sanders fan first, then a Falcon fan. I remember growing up, and the reason I watched football was because of Deion Sanders. Solely because of Deion Sanders. So number two, human highlight, Jim Brown. He was a linebacker, correct? Considered by most experts as the greatest pullback ever to play the game, Jimmy's harder to bring down than a wild steer. Running back. See, I don't even know what he did. I just know it's Jim Brown. Jim Brown is so good that none of us have seen a highlight, and we just know it's true. This is what makes the highlights even better, the imagination of what they would have been. Most dominant player to ever step on any athletic field. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. The pro game in the pop age had a number of superstars, but only one Superman, and he was Jim Brown. I, I could watch Jim Brown highlight reels all day. In the late 50s into the 60s, Jim Brown was making highlights that continue to astound to this day. You almost need a laugh track. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven guys. They can't physically bring him down. Jimmy Brown again, all 228 pounds, bowling to the middle and thundering for the score. There's a great highlight of Jim Brown throwing a perfect touchdown pass. Brown arches the ball to Gary Collins for a touchdown. You can just picture the quarterback off screen looking at him like, you're better at this than me too. When I think about Jim Brown, you know, I think about a guy who dominated the sport. But I don't know if, if I saw those plays that made me just really go, wow, could anybody else have done that? I don't know how that's controversial. Jim Brown would have broken the internet. Jim Brown would have broken YouTube. He dominated a decade of football. It was a different era of football. But you can tell on his highlights, he would have dominated any era of football because he could do anything with the ball in his hands. Jim Brown, for who he was and for what he did for the league, I think at number two is very appropriate for him. That makes sense. If he's number two, Jim Brown could be number two. Who's number one? Though? And now, the number one human hunt, Barry Sanders. Number one. You have to give it up for Barry Sanders. I mean, he's the best ever. Yeah, he should be. He was amazing. Of all my complaining about this list, number one, definitive, no question, absolutely, Barry Sanders. Holy mackerel, what a run by Barry Sanders. It was not more exciting than Deion Sanders. Barry Sanders' highlight reels are out of this world. Barry Sanders is number one because, let's face it, his highlights are the best. If you did a highlight reel of all the people that he juked, broke ankles, his different moves, the way he pivot, man, I think Barry Sanders would be fun to watch because he moved differently 
the reversing field, re-reversing field, re-re-re-reversing field. When God created Barry Sanders, even he didn't know what he made. Everything that you teach about the position, he just kind of crinkled up and, and threw out. Barry Sanders runs like my wife argues. Wait, you're here? No, you're here? Here? Oh, how'd you get over there? Oh, what happened? I thought we were... How many times have we seen Barry Sanders shake a guy out of his socks, out of his underwear? Barry Sanders with a move that Mikhail Baryshnikov couldn't make. All of these defenders look like children trying to tackle this guy. Start with juking out one of the best safeties in NFL history, John Lynch, mano a mano, just embarrasses. You know, against the Chicago Bears, he's got three guys on him and, and a total bear hug. I mean, it's almost like he psyched him out. They thought they had him down, and next thing you know, he's gone. That play against the Patriots where he just keeps doing this. Barry Sanders turned around a defensive back about three times. Harlan Barnett, New England Patriots. For him just to get put in the spin cycle, turned about 18 different directions. Barry Sanders just embarrassed him. Sanders' moves were so good, he was invisible to defenders right in front of him. That one is a highlight reel special. You couldn't believe that he was making these moves and making these NFL players look as bad as he did. When I uh, grow up, I want to run just like him. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch out to Barry, left side, hole, 35, 40, Barry on the run to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, look out, 30, not over catching, see you later. He really was the definition of old school football. He was a classy dude that just played the game and let his actions do the talking. That's the thing, he was amazing. When you take a team that you still show their highlights even though they lost because they have one of the most electric, elusive players to ever put on a uniform. That's what a highlight reel is. Folks, he's the best in the business. I don't know how you put anybody ahead of Barry Sanders in terms of just pure highlights and this, this spectacular moves that he made on the football field. Listen, man, I'm protesting this list. I'm protesting this list. That's a problem. I think he did the right thing. I know we've only done this like 8,000 times. How is Devin Hester ahead of Michael Vick? All he did was return kickoffs. You can't win for nothing, man. I'd put him at 10, and I'd bump J.J. Watt off altogether. <laughs> <laughs> Dion has to be number one, because he is the human highlight reel. Ahead of Michael Vick? Seven is worth every dime. No, Dion's number one. Yeah, I think Randy would disagree. Tell him, mama. Top three, Barry Sanders, Brown, Moss. Just change the list, no biggie.